Nicole Stott now, retired NASA astronaut and ISS and shuttle crew member. She lived and worked in space for more than 100 days. Nicole, it's great to have you. How, how big of an impact could Branson's trip here have on commercial space race? Well, I think I think it's already having an impact. People are paying attention. Uh, I think it's going to be huge. It's uh, it's we're like at that we're on that cusp, right? We're going over the edge, and just like they did yesterday, and I think it's just going to accelerate from here. Very excited for the the people that are going to have the opportunity to take this ride. Sure, you've you've heard the critics who say this wasn't really space; it was suborbital. What do you say to them? <laughs> You know, uh, I, I think we have better things to, to argue about, right? You <laughs> yeah. know, and, and and NASA, you know, NASA calls 50 miles space. I'm like, let them have it, man. And uh, look at it. Wouldn't you want to be there, too? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> you, you know firsthand the effort and training needed to make it to space. How big of a risk is a trip like this? Um, well, these things are risky for sure. I think that's why uh, this didn't happen in two years. It's you know I remember being there in 2004 for the Ansari X Prize where this all started for Virgin, right? And you know there were those who thought, oh, it'll just be a few years from now before um, before we're flying uh, passengers to space as tourists. And we've seen that you know rocket science is rocket science it takes a little bit longer. We've got to pay attention to the lessons that have been learned and. Uh, and move forward that way. I think these companies are trying to do that in the most diligent fashion possible within this kind of realm of risk that exists here. Is part of this, or, or do, you do you see a future where people could go up to that level, jet over to, to London in, say, an hour, an hour and a half? I mean, is that part of all of this? I think, you know, I, I'm not in, you know, in the mix <laughs> directly, but my sense of what somebody or a company like Virgin would be looking at is, is exactly that kind of business model. You know, the extension of Virgin Atlantic, how do we take people in, a, in this way, a really cool fashion from point yeah. A to point B and in a much, you know, a much quicker way. Mm. W would you go? I mean, if, if someone bought a seat for you? <laughs> I would go. I would go. Absolutely. And, you know, there's that that sweepstakes out there for uh, for somebody and, a, and their guest. And, you know, that's the group I'm associated with called Space for Humanity. Very happy that that's that's going to happen for two individuals. I'll I, I'd love to put my name in, but um, we'll let somebody else go. <laughs> it's a mighty good cause. Nicole Stott, <laughs> it's an honor. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.